Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And by now you probably know I have a particular affinity for small stubby screwdrivers. Uh, I've got a couple of snap-ons down here, another snap-on up here, and another snap-on there, a pair of Vera's. This one's got the bits in the top. If I pop that out, you can see a little bit of a carousel there. I've got a vessel. This guy takes a really long Bits, so you never want to put a short one in there. Klein, this is a multi-bit. This is really cool. I love this thing. Uh, Weeha, again, it's got a bit carousel in the top. This one's full of torques here. Um, PB Swiss, pop that guy up. Um, you can see it's got a loaded bit carousel as well. Really nice little tool there. Uh, this snap-on pops out. It's got basically standard, or number two, and a slotted, um, simple design. But anyway, I saw this uh, vessel here, picked it up. This guy was $9.99 on Amazon, 10 bucks. And what it was was a way to hold bits or hold bit drivers or whatever fits in here that has kind of this standard um, auto loading bit feature. And this particular thing, um, let's cut this guy open. Um, I'm using these Kleins here um, because they were feeling unloved since I got my um, snap-on flush cuts. But anyway, what, what do we have here? It's a ball grip carrying bit holder, mini stubby driver, quarter hex power bits. That's the, the power bit, has that indentation there. Um, and let's see, attach and detach bits with one hand. Um, shows you how to do it. Let's take a look at this guy. All it is, is it's mostly plastic. Uh, it's got a rubberized surface here. And this, um, this is a uh, um, kind of a, a simple ring, except watch how this operates. I can take a bit, I can insert it here, pops in. But if I'm holding onto this thing, it's rock solid. If I'm holding onto this, the bit pops out. Do you see how that works? So if I hold on to this, it allows this center section to release. So it's basically these two pieces spring-loaded. So if I'm here and I want it out, all, that's easily all I do. For one-handed, um, I can do it that way. Let me hold that a little bit better for you. Um, so I can grab onto the bit and then slide that out. So it is possible one-handed. Um, and it's also, this won't come out accidentally unless you grab onto this red ball and then it just snaps right out. So it's an interesting thing. Um, but it is also a very small driver. Um, you can see, kind of compared to the snap-on, you know, it's a smaller diameter, not by a huge amount, um, but there's definitely less mass here. And I can, did you, oh, I should show you that. That's another way to release it. I've been playing with it even though I hadn't cut it out of the package. So I can um, literally just push this, hold this red, push this forward, and it releases it. So I guess you couldn't see that. Let me do it the other way. So I can just push this um, right here and it shoots the bit out. But I can also use it with smaller bits, in which case now I've got a really slick little micro driver. Um, I can put whatever in here. I've got a small um, Milwaukee Shockwave number two Phillips. I have tons of these by and by the case because I'm always messing them up with the drill. But anyway, um, that's a sweet little tiny screwdriver. And if you compare it here to some of these others, if you've got them, you can see it's a lot smaller in mass. Now these are designed to fit like on a key ring or on some um, ring that's on a tool bag that allows you to have maybe some popular uh, bit sizes. And then you can just pop those out um, and then use them for you know whatever it is and pop them back in, especially specialty bits. But it also makes a good solid driver on its own. There is a bit of play here. I mean, you're talking about a $10 driver. So it's not an amazing piece of engineering, but it seems pretty solid for most things um, and definitely worth, uh, worth um, getting a, a one or two um, to try them out. You can always hang them on your Christmas tree or your key ring. 
Um, but they are kind of neat, and I do like it better than this little vessel here. The more I use this, this just doesn't fit in my hand very well. I'm worried if I drop this bit in here, if I just let go of it and it sunk down in, boom, that'd be the end. What happens if I do it with this? If I push this bit in right here, you know, it about disappears. Is that okay? Well, I have to get pliers to get it out. Maybe I can use these guys here. Don't try this at home. You know, there, I got it back out. This thing, I don't think I could get them out. So it's a little bit dangerous. I've got to keep a bit in and keep this separate so nobody ever puts another bit in it, um, a small bit. But this thing here, this little vessel mini stubby driver for 10 bucks, uh, it's definitely worth taking a look at. And with that, dock out.